Hi, welcome to Coop Test Kitchen. I'm your host, Sad Guy. Today, we learn how to make the signature dish of my ex's new Jamaican lover, escovitch with red beans and rice. We're giving this recipe five fear units because you're using a sharp knife, hot oil, hot peppers, a bad attitude, and a bonus point for cultural appropriation. We're gonna be making our dish in three steps. First, the escovitch dressing, then the red beans and rice, and finally, a crispy fried white fish. Let's get everything we need for the escovitch dressing, the real star of the dish. Just like last time, you're gonna to wanna to start by selecting a good knife. If you remember, this knife came to me in a dream. It's really great for bone. No bones in this recipe. Here's our chef's knife. Our chef's knife is great, but it's a little thick. Even though these peppers claim to have thick skins, their egos are easily bruised. This ceramic blade is perfect. It's surgical for vegetables. For the escovitch, you're gonna need bell pepper, habanero or scotch bonnet, some onions, some white vinegar, some bay leaves, and some thyme. You're gonna prep the peppers by removing the seeds. Make a slice down the middle and open the pepper. I like to slice out the middle pulp part. Next, you're gonna slice your peppers nice and thin, about the width of a wedding band, or uh, spaghetti. I slice the tops off each onion, cut them in half, and that makes it really easy to peel. Your onions you can slice a little thicker, as my ex prefers, or about the width of fettuccine. Save one onion half for later. You need to be extra careful as you slice your habanero peppers not to touch your eyes before you wash your hands. Wearing a pair of gloves isn't a bad idea. All right, now that we've got our gloves, we can get to work. All right, now that we have our gloves on, same thing, we're gonna slice the tops, try and remove the seeds. The habanero seeds especially are extra hot. Habaneros actually provide a great flavor to a lot of dishes. If you remove all of the seeds, you'll get a lot of that flavor without too much of the heat. If you like your escovitch a little spicy, leave a couple seeds in there. You need to be really careful when you're using a slicer and the carrot as well. I recommend still wearing the gloves. All right, we've got our sliced bell peppers, our sliced onions, our sliced carrot, and you'll see that I've chopped up the habaneros into smaller pieces. Add your peppers, your onions, carrots, and habaneros. Add a generous helping of thyme, two to three bay leaves, which you need to remember to remove and not eat when you're done cooking, a little dash of allspice, a lot of white wine vinegar, about 12 ounces, and about a half cup of water. And we're gonna let that simmer for about 30 minutes. Mmm, it smells so good. It's a shame it took me a month to figure out why she was coming home smelling like that. Well anyway, while that's simmering, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our rice and beans. For our red peas and rice, we're gonna need some rice, some red beans, some turmeric, diced onion, cumin, kosher salt, and some pat of butter. Start by getting a cup of water and a second cup. Once your two cups of water is at a full boil, add your pat of butter, a dash of turmeric, a dash of cumin, your diced onions, about one cup of rice, and of course, some red beans. Give that a good stir. Cover it, reduce the heat. Set a timer for 15 minutes. Well, we've got 15 minutes. You know what to do. We gotta kill some time. I recommend playing a video game. Work. Building a card house. Work. Or read a book. Been about 15 minutes, let's see how things look. Our rice and beans are looking great. Let's take a look at our escovitch dressing. The vegetables look tender but firm, not too crispy, but nice and soft. Once it's cooled enough, we'll pour our escovitch dressing into some Tupperware. We'll take our escovitch dressing, our rice and beans, and put it in the fridge. You can cook your fish right away and serve everything hot, 
but I recommend you make your side dishes a couple hours in advance. Put them in the fridge and let all the flavors mingle together and let that flavor enhancement come through. The escovitch sauce reheats great in a pan, and the rice can easily be reheated in the microwave. Why not take a couple hours and relax the traditional Jamaican way? Snapper is probably the best fish to use, but since we're paying alimony, we'll go ahead and use tilapia. Rinse your fish and pat it dry. I prefer to slice mine into strips, but you can leave yours whole if you like. A Jamaican chef I used to know, and trust, once told me that there was no flour in Jamaican cooking. I don't think that was a joke about me, so here's what we're going to do. Start with a little cornstarch, add some paprika, or paprika, a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic, some salt, and some black pepper. Mix it around, take your mixture, and coat the tops of the fish. Flip them over and season the other sides. Slide the fish around to get the extra on the sides. I just got a cat hug because I'm making fish. Now we have one more step. What you'll do next is add cornmeal and coat both sides of the fish. At this point you're going to have a wet hand and a dry hand. Make sure you grab the cornmeal with the dry hand. Pat it over the fish, turn it over, and do the same thing. Take off the excess and put it on your cutting board. You're going to want to fry your fish in a vegetable oil or canola oil, which has a lot higher flash point than olive oil. You want to get your oil nice and hot, because the hotter you get the oil, the less of it that gets absorbed into the breading. The less oil you get absorbed into the fish, it makes for a lighter, healthier, tastier fry. That was a fish joke. At about three to four minutes, you're gonna to wanna to flip your fish. Make sure that you always flip your fish away from you so that you don't splash yourself with hot oil. While you're waiting for your fish to fry, get a paper towel lined plate ready for the fish to sit on when they're done. If I were making this dish for an entire family, I'd probably try and fry one big fish whole. But... Our fish look done on both sides. It's time to remove them, starting with the smallest piece. And here we are, fried to perfection. Now that we're ready to serve, we'll grab a nice big scoop of our escovitch dressing and heat it up on the stove. Grab a nice big helping of your rice and beans, put it right on the plate. Put that in the microwave for about 45 seconds. To serve, we'll take our nice hot plate of rice and beans, we'll add two great pieces of delicious crispy white fish, and we'll finish by pouring the escovitch right on top. Set the table for your guests and get ready for a nice family meal. Well, I've been Sad Guy for Coop Test Kitchen, showing you how to make the signature dish of my ex's new Jamaican lover, escovitch with rice and beans. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. I wonder what they're doing right now.